Hello and welcome back to Shire Farm and the Own the Map Challenge. It is now early January. The snow is falling. It's laying pretty heavy as well. And as you can see, we've got quite a bit of money. Now, I have sold our harvesters and their headers. I've kept... The, I'm just going to move this out of the way. I've kept the, the corn header. We'll be using that in future. Uh, but we now have the money to buy the two harvesters for when harvest comes later next year the the cows oh I, I mucked them out and they they've come back they left the doors open from mucking them out now I went and I spread our large um, fields if I just bring up the map uh, fields you know 16 10 9 8 and 4 I muck spread that and that used almost half of what we had in here. I then <laughs> emptied out our cows. They cleared their manure out, put that in there. And then overnight they filled it again. We've got so much. I also have, which we're now going to do, uh, some manure ready to go down to the BGA. I don't think we topped that up last time. So let's go do that. Let's get into this video. Let's get some stuff done. Now, like I think I said, our cows were fed hay uh, before I went and slept. Topped them right up. So one of our jobs, once we finish doing our, our little runaround jobs that we've got to do today, we will uh, make sure they're topped up with uh, TMR in both. And also, our hay bales that were getting baled by our worker, they're still out in the field. We need to collect them up. I think they were going to go down to the the horse pastures. We didn't get to cut, I don't think we did anyway, I don't recall cutting the the horse pasture grass, so yeah, not going to have as much hay, but we do still have a full storage shed of hay, which is I think it's like 250 bales, which is a lot, so we're not sure of it. I was considering selling those hay bales, but I think we'll, we'll keep them just in case, because as the farm is getting so much busier now, Getting the time to get those extra cuts in really has been a challenge. I mean, that was our second cut of the year, and we did that like November. The last day in November we cut that, so long gone are the days of three cuts a year. But that, they took pretty much all of that. That should be up and running. Uh, so we should be getting quite good, good store of digestate building up there. So, about this episode, I'm going to try, like I said, I'm going to try and fit the whole, or the whole, both of our choir winter months in. We have four fields, possibly five fields that need ploughing. We have, I can drive across this. We have a lot of lime spreading to do, and we have a lot of muck and slurry spreading to do. So really, we need this snow to bugger off. I am hoping that since it's sort of lightened off and we've got cloudy sky now, this, I'm hoping we're gonna we're gonna lose the snow and it's gonna dissipate pretty quick. Like I say, we've got running around, we've got a few errand jobs to do, so we'll do them and uh, we'll see where we're at. But we've got we've got four days to uh, get a lot of work done. And next job on the list is gonna be delivering all of our wool, and boy, do we have a lot that oh I don't know don't get too close I don't want to get sucked into the storage um, 43,474 litres of wool which is quite immense I was up late stacking that hence why I didn't get the bales in oh I thought it's I can I can use the bales and we can do content with bales when I have to just stack this, because I super strength it because it's quicker, it still takes a long time, and that's not something we use, and it, it uses up a large chunk of the day. So if I do that at night, then uh, that would be easier. And like I say, there is a lot. Should we put our hazards on? Probably should. Oh, our beacons on. We should definitely have our hazards on too, if I can find them. There they be. We'll get this down, we'll put this in our textiles factory. Last time out, if you missed it, you missed quite a bit. We finished off all our beets. 
Uh, we made a lot of money with our beets. Um, I've switched out the the um, juice factory to the to the base game juice factory. Now, although I'm now going to go and fill up the uh, the textiles with this, it counterintuitive because I do want to run our factories dry. Actually, I'm not going to now. No, no, I'm not. I was going to run our factories dry and remove um, upgradable factories because I think that's what's caused me the problem on some of my mod factories. But I've got rid of them now. So we won't. We won't do that. We will just keep running. It's just that next time around, if we ever get around to doing another series, <laughs> that time may come when the next game comes out. The next November. Hopefully we're finished there by then. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, we'll not will not be using upgradable factories. It is a great mod, but it just seems like some things it conflicts with, and some things it doesn't. And I can't think of anything else that's causing the conflict. I've chatted with people in in discords about it, and the people that are having the same problem as me are running upgradable factories. So who knows? Who really knows? But anyway, let's get this in. Let's get this put away. Uh, there's no sale on this, there's no money on this, so uh, you don't necessarily need to see it going in. And uh, we'll try and crack on, because we've got a lot to do, and I want to try and cram it all into one... Maybe one slightly longer video, but rather than two videos doing the same thing. So I think while... While we are... Waiting for this snow <laughs> to bugger off, as it were. I'm just going to get these bales in. Get this, uh, get this field cleared. I'm not sure how long it's going to take... I'm not sure how, well, I'm more concerned how long the snow is going to take to get to uh, to melt. Because we do actually have quite a lot of work to do in the next four days, so hopefully, hopefully it will, uh, it will bugger off. I'm changing who I am, I'm making a new plan, rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again. Yeah. You ain't see me activated. You better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan I'm not evaluated. That's how I end up on the top, man. I'm calculated. My mind's a weapon. My body is the engine. I'm never second guessing. I just do what I was destined. Cause I feel I got the blessing. Persistence and obsession. That's how you keep progressing. I already learned that lesson, yeah. I'm changing. I'm making a new plan, rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again. You can't stop what's moving. You can't stop what's moving. Just like that, the snow has gone. Now my old man brain kicked in and I instantly forgot that I was storing on the first load and they went and got sold. That happens. We'll put this slot in storage. I'm going to leave the rest of them out there. I'm not too worried about that. We can get them in later. If, you know, it could always snow again overnight. And then tomorrow morning, we'll have that to do. Rather than just waiting around for the snow to disappear. We'll just get these ones in. And that'll be, uh, be another good job done for now. Good, honest work, that. That's annoying. <laughs> and our next job is going to be liming some of our fields, because we have got a few that need a bit of lime. And we're going to be using the Lizard Farming... Um, what is this called? The Lizard Farming Fertiliser Spreader. And this is something else I can't read it. Ground-driven... Whatever, something number of tons lives by 82 studios the one that we had isn't there anymore but this one has a little bit of a naughty field capacity so we could be able to do a little bit more with it it looks tiny on the back of that there's 25,000 litres in there apparently so we'll uh we'll, was that 25,000 yeah 25,000 litres uh, so we can go out and we're going to hit our new fields and we're going to do it with the jcb because jcb will run a bit quicker We'll line them all up. Um, may even 
line, the one that I manured the other day. Bit naughty, I know. I will start here. We'll line this one up. This is where we'll start. And then once we've lined everything up, we'll uh, we'll get our plows out. We've got our big plow that's already on the back of the fence. And then um, we'll stick a worker on the on the straight plow. Get things going. So I can put my cover back on. Make it look tidy. Now I think this has a rather wide width. If that was fertilizer in there, that'd be going a lot further as well. So, oh look at us go! Oh, we've got a crazy work speed on this. Why? That's that's insane. That is insane. This is quick enough. 15, 16 miles an hour. <laughs> that was mental. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done any liming, probably. <laughs> it feels like for years. But because we've reset the map so many times, I think the lime states obviously have come back from the beginning. But yeah, a bit of liming. I, I don't know why I don't have the mod anymore. I, I don't recall removing it, but I must have done. This is not there. Yeah, because I don't think we had the gents, did we? I've got the, the big gents pull behind spreader. But I think it was the silver, the 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 the, the chrome steel one, with um, green and black. I think began with the brand. The brand began with B. I I can't recall, but I'm sure that's what we had. If it was the gents, let me know and I'll I'll replace it. I don't think it was. I think there's one of them ones that um, I always assume are a little bit Brazilian or South American because they're they're often depicted on a South American map in the mod hub but again to try and sh keep this episode short as long as it's going to be um we will probably speed a lot of this up this might be a, m a multitude of time lapses on this episode so if you don't like time lapses i do apologize but i need to try and crack through the work because it is it is quiet season and we've had so much going on i just really want to get some progression now so again, I'm going to shut up and we'll get as many of these fields lined today as possible. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. And damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. You look great. I like you. I can't wait. A first time. A first day. You're so fine. I'm so late. You sip wine. I drink straight, don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Well, it's now coming up to around half past eight, and I'm really hoping I've got enough to finish on this little strip here. I think I've gone back and forth uh, nine or ten refills for the free fields. Um, I thought I'd tackle this big one, get this done. This one is then ready to plant whenever we plant our potatoes. Man, that's going to be a thing, and I must remember I've got to have money for a potato planter. But. Yeah, the, a long day doing this. Uh, the second um, field that we spread on, I think it was um, 40, 43, was it? 45. Uh, that one gives, you know, didn't require a lot. Uh, these ones, don't, to be fair, aren't requiring a lot. It's, it's using very little. Uh, we're getting down here quite easily. So next time out, we need to spread in... Well, 28, 26, 25, 24, 22, 23, we need to spread all of them. <laughs> we need to get them spread. But in the morning, we'll come out, we'll get a worker started on the ploughing. But I'm going to head back now. We're finished. We're done for the first night. Let's get some kip. Okay, so 7 a.m., January 2. Um, we're making property money. We have made some milk money. We're going to need to start. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to remove the auto cell for milk because we need to get some milk in our productions to go to make butter so we can put that in to make our cake. So we need to uh, remove that mod. Um, 
when I next come out of the game. It's going to be a while. We're going to be sat here for about five hours, I think, recording this episode, maybe more. But we need to feed our cows this morning, so I do have Speedy Sprint on just to make this all a little bit easier. Hopefully the uh, the New Holland isn't going to cause us any issues. It does conflict with some things. I am contemplating on changing it out. We'll see. It's a shame because I really like the model. It's just got a, it's got a few control conflicts. It's the same one that we did have on um, Maypole, I think. It seems that, well, if it isn't, it has the same conflict, which would be uh, quite strange, even if it is a different model, or a different mod, I should say. So let's bring that forward a little bit. Right, let's feed our cows. We need to find jobs to do while we're waiting for the, We're hoping that the snow goes again. Uh, we'll check the weather forecast in a bit, but we should. It should. It should go. I'm not sure if we need one or two mixers today. One might do us because we can. Obviously, we can put another one in tomorrow. We can do one a morning. Although it will start to really deplete. Then that's the trouble. And if we can get a morning without the snow, we really won't be able to crack on and get the fertilising and the ploughing done. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully I manage to uh, condense this right down. Like I say, it'll probably be a lot of uh, time lapses and jumps and stuff that first day. I've, <laughs> but for whatever you've already seen, looking down at OBS, I've already been recording for an hour and 38 minutes. So that's how well it's going. And that was just day one. I want to, <laughs> I want to try and do four days <laughs> in one night. That's a lot of Shire Farm. Right, let's just stick that there for now. Let's go get this feed in. This feed takes forever. So while the feed is going in, we'll just grab a couple of bales. We'll put them in ourselves. That's gone in as forage and not TMR, hasn't it? Wait there. Why have we not got a uh, TMR mix? What's going on? Oh, too much silage and not enough hay. Okay, bear with me, people. We can soon fix that because we have got hay... Four days. There we are. So we just chuck another hay bale in there now. I should. I should turn that into silage. There we go. Perfect. And as I empty, that hay should also go in there, topping it up. Right. Straw. So we want next. Straw bales. Always go the wrong way. Right, skit. Let's have I'm just gonna do these by hand for now because I don't wanna have to keep changing the the implement on the wheel loader. And I said we'd probably get a telehandler, but we never did get a telehandler back, and I don't think we've only Hopefully only uh, a few years left to go on the series. Unless we get uh, maybe a telehandler to uh, manage the pigs with. That might be what we do. Just we got something different, doing something a little bit different in different spots. All the jobs we're going to do and the biggest part of this video is going to be me feeding the cows every morning. Honestly, they take so much and this just empties so quick. Let's have a look at them. So which one is it? Oh my god, that the, the other ones are empty. That's not good at all. Are they are they eating more in winter or something? What's going on? Right. Let's get a load of straw. Perhaps it's because it was the hay and the hay just didn't last. So now. But we got good milk, so it only just just ran out, I think. Let's just plate your bedding in them. Although I'm not going to have the time to do the uh, mucking out, I don't think. so Because that takes a long time, and I tend to do that in the dark at night. But we're not going to be doing that in between, because we have lots to do. So we're alright for bedding on that one. 
They'll take more though, right. Let's get some more feed mixed up. And uh, once they're all fed, we'll crack on with some more jobs. While our hopefully final load of feed is going in for the cows, I've quickly shot across the road with our little flegel. Uh, grabbed some barley. I'm going to feed the chickens because they're, they're creating eggs. <laughs> they're doing all right. They're doing their job at least. Well, I should imagine they are getting pretty low. But we could use our little van. So we'll say to deliver them to our bakery, but I doubt the bakery even needs them. I think the bakery's probably full, so we could sell those eggs. We'll we'll produce more by the time the bakery's up and running anyway. We've got to sort the, the whole milk thing out at the minute. They probably need a lot more than this. I think this holds like 60,000 and they were probably down to like 15,000 or something. But that'll, that'll top them up for now. And then... Depends on what jobs we have tomorrow morning. Oh, there's the invisible rock. The two jobs we have tomorrow morning. Um, we'll uh, get some more barley. I was going to take all the barley down to uh, the flour mill, but everything that uses flour has got plenty of flour at the minute. So we'll keep the barley for the eggs. Can't remember what else we've got in storage. Not, not a lot. We've got our oats and we've got corn keeping the corn for the pigs oats for horses so I think while we're not being mad rushed to do other things we're going to head over we're going to stock up the, the hay feed for all of our sheep pens and then once we've done that I might go into each pen and sell the uh, the old rams so we don't really need them I mean, it looks cool to have rams in the uh, in the pens, but they don't really serve much of a purpose. Especially when we've got so many of them at the minute as well. That's it, put that back. Oh, what's the post? <laughs> there we are, let's bring it up a little bit. Yeah, I think they're all probably about half full. So if we can leave a stack of bales at each one. And I shouldn't have to worry about them for a while. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, the wool that they've produced again already is mad. It's mad. <laughs> Hysterical. Um, they all could do with a little bit of water, but we'll probably save that job for another day. <laughs> That's another one that takes a while. So, what I'm going to do is actually tip them on the floor rather than have to keep jumping out and tapping them to do things. And then they will have, like I say, all that hay waiting to go in. That'll keep them topped up for a long time because we are going to be so, so bloody busy. And then we'll just come back when we get the notification telling us there's no more room. A lot of little lambs on that one. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you who are you to tell me how to live life? In these times, it feels like nobody's right, yeah. So I'ma figure out what else we succeed and then invest all of my time into that and proceed. I need whatever the hell could make me happy. And I don't think you have a clue what could that be. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could Well, I feel like the snow is getting thicker. Although we slow down, the snow feels like it's getting thicker. Where is our trigger for this one, right? So we have ram mail. How many have we got? Three. Sell. So. Over this side we have ram mail. Three. 
out. Over here. Three. It always looked like we had more, but it doesn't seem like there are that many now. Any more here? Oh, this one's got... How many was that? Ten. Okay. That was a few, wasn't it? So here we have... Oh, wow, this one's got all sorts in here. Oh... Another four. Another young one. Three. Seems that this one is popping out a few more young uns than the others. Maybe it's just because the others are full. So yeah, that's right. Oh, we got some here. Five. Still. Six. Yeah, these new pens definitely have more males in than the the old pens. This is where they all were when I said it looked like a lot all over in this pen. Okay. So Will will uh, slow down for a little bit, but the way they reproduce, that won't take long. Yep, all good. Uh, the wheel loader and the bales went pretty well until we dropped one. And, well, actually, even the dropping, that weren't a problem. That was when we hit the tree, that was when it went all tits up. So now, I'm just heading back to the farm and uh, I'm just, just waiting out the snow now. Just waiting out the snow. Well, it's just gone three o'clock. I've brought the 960 over. I was using it to clear out the manure. Then you back if you back up right in there, you can sometimes hit the triggers. Um, this one filled as soon as I drove out of it. This one pretty much filled up again. How much have we got in there? So we took out a hundred thousand liters, and we have sixty-one thousand liters respawn instantly. And this one as well took out a hundred thousand liters and two thousand liters spawned back in. So we're so much. And we have, sorry, all about the manure today, 44,000 litres plus, or 442,000 litres, sorry, plus whatever spilled out the front. Huh. Okay. Um, we've got a leak going on there. Anyway, we're going to take this worker, this worker, we're going to take this uh, class out, and we are going to put the straight plough on it. And we're going to get them ploughing one of our fields for us. While I was waiting for the thaw, I have took the uh, New Holland out. That's parked up, waiting to uh, spread slurry for us. Uh, this this plough job is going to be right next to that, so that's not a problem. I mean, if we wanted to get real busy, I guess I could even... Just stick someone on a cultivator instead of worrying about ploughing or something. But we do direct drills, so I'm only ploughing because those fields need ploughing. We're not ploughing for the sake of it, crikey. We're not looking to make work for ourselves. So as we come in, this one will hopefully go off. I think they're starting over in the other corner. Think kindly, think kindly. And then if we get my sprint on. The new Holland could go off, do its thing. And slowly that one, that is pulling from Cowshed 2. There should be enough in there for that. And I'm going to be back in the JCB, lime spreading, uh, long fields 28 and 29. I was considering setting up our um, fence to uh, do some ploughing for us as well. But I think we've still got February. And, you know, I still want work to do myself in February. Don't want everything to be work as not at the minute. Especially since we're going to be worker heavy come harvest time and things again. 
but since uh, I did this yesterday and I'm pretty sure I'll have done some sort of time lapse with it I'm just going to crack on and uh, I'll probably come back to you either as I bring the plow over here I'll work a plow if they finish or, or or something like that I'll bring I'll bring some sort of worker over or when I'm finished or if it's night time I mean it's going to get dark in about an hour and a half so uh, I need to crack on I'll see you in a bit Good morning and welcome to February 1. Now, <laughs> I have issues with my workers, as always. The, the guy plowing is fine, no issues. The the worker that was doing the slurry spreading, they kept telling me that the tank that they were pulling from was empty, but we have over 200, or we have 200,000 litres of slurry in there, so I don't know what that was about. They finally got going, but they asked to work in that same field. So, you know, they were they weren't very productive. But I, you know, I was going until half past ten. I was spreading lime until half past ten. I spread all of those. And we need to get some more samples done for the bits that we've ploughed together. That's why they sometimes look a bit weird. Is that right? Yeah, we've not ploughed them together, so that's okay. And I don't think this one we've actually purchased. So let's put it together. There we go. So yeah, you can see um, slowly spreading's been a bit funny. They got stuck around here. I don't know why they haven't touched this bit yet, unless they're coming to that last. I don't know. Uh, the plowing's been done once they've slowly spread here. I want to move them over to here. I've already set this worker with a, um, a route for, I believe, this field. So we're going to bring them over there. It was long. I did start to use, obviously, I started to use the real speed to get all that done. But I figured if my workers weren't getting through their jobs, I needed to get through mine. I still need to lime spread this one and this one. But I think I want to have a little change of pace and I'm going to jump in the fence once we've brought our worker up there. We're going to jump in the fence and I'm going to help do some of the plowing because that uh, 17, 19, 20, 32, 21 and 23 all need plowing still. And it's not essential that all the plowing is done by the end of February. That's the, I mean, we can plow all year round. We've, we've got planting to do and we've got planting in fields that are ready um, it would just be nice but we can always leave a worker with this plow on trundling along somewhere but we need to uh, it's, it's a, just crack on make as much money as we can buy up the land get the animals build the pig farm and uh, <laughs> just be done with the challenge now that's that's the thing and uh, yeah I'd like to be done <laughs> only halfway through this recording by the way and my timer is sitting at 3 hours and 20. So, yeah, I'd like to be done with this episode. But we will keep keep soldiering on because we need to uh, progress. We need to move on. And I don't want to keep putting out same and same episodes. But we'll, uh, we'll get this work done and I'll jump in the fence. So they are off to go and find their start position. I will just show you as well. Once this field has been done, before we plant in, I'm going to have to come out and do some landscaping. We've got some... We got some peaks. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but we have got some major peaks going on on the edge here. This needs smoothing out, and over in that corner as well. So I'll, I'll have to do that before we plant. Don't be planting into that. I'm hoping our, our other worker is going to just crack on and get their work done on the uh, on the slurry spreading. I'll have to keep my eye out for that. Hopefully, uh, they don't take too long. So yeah, the, uh, the spreader is still waiting there. It's between the two fields that need doing. If I bring my cursor up, this field and that field, they're the last two that are waiting. Obviously, this field is one that's waiting to be planted. It's been that long now. I can't even remember what we were going to put in any of these. But I'm sure I'll figure it out in time. For convenience of workers, I might have to come and take some of these trees out as well. Hopefully not. I say we just want to get enough crop off these fields up here to sustain a few pigs. That's all going to need smoothing out as well. I may, I may come up here. I actually get my landscaping tool out and just sort of reshape some of these fields, just just to make it a little bit easier. Yeah, I think I want to roll back with this. Turn my create field on. 
if I remember where it was. Not there, was it? Clearly. There we go. Right. So a lot of these have got these jagged edges. I need to... What I should have done was took out those two trees when I was down on my tree remove. That's not creating a new field, is it? Why do I forget? I, I mean, it's Y on the keyboard. I know that, but... Frustrations, man. This, uh... Boy, oh, us. That's right. Uh, we have controlled it if you've not been following the channel, if you don't watch the other the other stuff. We have a few control issues at the minute. They'll 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 go away eventually. Uh, because I have set up my side panel now to accommodate the the forestry more than the farming because I think I can grasp the farming and I can I'm a little bit more familiar with where things are on the keyboard I'm not great with the keyboard controls but I'm a bit more familiar with where they are plus they pop up there but I've set my side panel up so it just is more comfortable with the forestry work that we're doing on um, bare rock so that's why <laughs> for this episode and probably the last episode as well I stumbled with a few controls. Right here. Nice. Let's just get rid of that now. Right. Should be good. I think I turned it off. Yeah, we did. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. So I'm going to spend probably a few hours now um, plowing up these fields. I'll move my workers around with me as I go. I'll tr Hopefully the, the 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 worker doing the slurry spread, and they'll, they'll have that job done soon. I'll move them on to another one. And then uh, if we can get as much of this plowing done today then February will or February 2 um, I can start chucking some muck about I mean I, I could probably leave a worker to do the last couple of fields of ploughing while I do some muck spreading but I want to try and uh, crack on get it done so again I will shut up sorry for the jumping about on the jobs by the way but we've got a lot to squeeze in I will shut up and uh, I'll see you a little bit later well, it's now half past two, and I'm bringing the 960 back. And that bloody New Holland is still spreading slurry on that field. Hey, I think it got stuck like four more times. I think it's uh, partly because the, the ground is a bit weird. It, it stops and it fails to register. And then it always likes to drive into the fence that I've put around my little unit there. So, yep. Partly me, partly everything else. 50, we'll take 50-50 responsibility on that. But all the ploughing is done. It, uh, 17 and 19 didn't need ploughing, uh, but they do still need lime spreading. What a f <laughs> what a f <laughs> what a fun four hours has been, I tell you. Spreading, ploughing, spreading, and ploughing. But it should getting all this done in the winter should make spring more tolerable when we've got rushes to um, get everything planted because you know we're going to have fields to plant with our, our grain crops we're going to have to get our, our corn and our sunflower in the ground we're going to have to sort out getting the um, potatoes in the ground at some point and this year we need to plant our poplar up in field 20... I'm thinking field 20... I was thinking it's field 23. I'm thinking maybe field 25 now, poplar. That could be where we go with that. Alright, you can sit there for a minute. The uh, 
The slowest spreading is on the the final leg. Let's just check in on some of our some of our productions. So our mill is completely out. We do have barley, but I, um, everything else is everything that uses flour is fine for flour. We could drop off some manure, keep that ticking over. The uh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's out of space, so we need to set that to selling. Oh, it spawned some, didn't it? Instantly spawned some to sell. This one, hmm. Now it should sell, hopefully. I'll just wait until the hour to do that. But looks like we've not got the automatic watering on, so I'm gonna have to go over and water them soon. That's, I mean, it's lasted a long time. So that is on distributing as well. So we have to let that pop one out and then set it to selling. And it's all good. Same again here for the tomatoes. Our bread is automatically selling, so that's okay. Our sugar is being distributed and that should only be coming here. So that, set that to selling. Be fine. So our sunflower oil is selling. Our canola oil is distributing because that needs to come here, slowly filling up. Our olive oil that's set to sell. So it doesn't go anywhere at the minute. And uh, yeah, we're all out of we haven't gone to grapes, so they're doing all right. Everything's fine. Yeah, they're all they're all they're all doing their thing apart from the barley. So we shall deactivate that. And our wood that is selling. That's nearly out. So I might deactivate that actually. Oh, I'll leave I'll leave it until it's no I won't deactivate it because I will forget about it. Right. So let's we've got manure here. We're up to 1.5 million by the way. But we do need um like nearly a Oh this one's not not filled. Oh we filled the other one, didn't we? Filled the big one. I shall go and I'm going to top up the digestate and then we'll sell this. I've got so much manure at the minute. We will be spreading manure shortly though. I say shortly, that's probably going to be um, February 2, his manure job. Let's, uh, let's just go top up our digester and sell this. And our slurry spreader has <laughs> finally finished spreading their slurry. It's only took them 30 hours. That's all. <laughs> do that one field. Hopefully they'll do better on the next one. So there's that topped up. We'll go sell the rest of this. And I shall move my slurry spreader to a different field. I'll probably put them up on some of those furthest away. So then when I want to do the muck spread. And I've not got to travel so far. So I've set up our, our slurry spreader worker. They are now over on... The long field, uh, 28, 26, I believe it is, which was beets, which will be potatoes. They're over there, they're now slowly spreading that, just starting, so that'll probably take them, you know, a, a week. <laughs> now, that field should be much easier. I don't know why I can't reverse and talk today, but that one should be much easier for them. Let's pop that in there. But, I have, I checked my, I checked my cows, checked their feed. And they're nearly empty again already, so I think I think I need to sell some. Much like the sheep. Let's just turn the engine off. Oh, the sound of engines today. Right. So let's have a look. How many cows do I have? Yeah, we have We've got a lot. We've got a lot. We we're gonna sell some. Some of them are going for a good price as well. So if we have a look, the ones that are selling for the best price, obviously they're producing us the most milk. But they're probably eating the most as well. Got cow, cow, heifer. We'll perhaps we just sell some of these heifers. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to sell some heifers. So five, is that the maximum of there? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll sell them. Keep the calves. Got 15 heifers there, we'll sell them. Oh, we got a bull. We've got 15 bulls. Bloody wars, man. We got, oh, we got 16 bulls. No wonder the feed is going. All right, sell. Didn't keep on top of males spawning, did I? Right, sell them. That's why the milk went down. Right, so do we have... We do. Yeah. 13 of them. Okay. Well, that has reduced the herd a fair bit. Obviously, 
going to take a while to build up again. Well, in this shed at least, because it took the heifers out. But, yeah, a lot of bulls. Have we still got bulls in there? Let me just check. There was. What so? Right, there we are. Behave yourselves. Behave yourselves. Right, it's six o'clock. Um, we're going to go to bed because we've got February 2 to do. And this is getting long. Okay, so what did we make? We got 62 grand in property and we still got 34 in milk. And I forgot to feed them. So <laughs> that was more worried about selling them than feeding them. I think what I'm going to do today... Oh, look, the eggs are spawning on top of each other. Didn't know they do that. Um, we're going to see if we can get the eggs to go in the van today. I'm going to be so disappointed if I can't get nothing to go in my bloody van. Now i got it. I was so excited about getting this van on here. Hey, these all go... Oh, chickens escaped. I've never had a chicken escape before, I don't think. Showing us wool, but we got eggs. Right, I'm going to get all my eggs in here. And then we'll sell them. Well, this pallet, this one, did not want to load in. And I think, I think this is why I couldn't get one or two pallets to sell on Chipping Norton when I was first using some Chipping Norton. I don't think the pallets that are there before you buy the van, I don't think they will load. So I think they don't register. I think. That's what it's feeling like. So when we've got a bit more wool, we'll, uh, we'll go and see if we can load that up. But for now, we're just going to take our eggs somewhere. But I just love this. This just drive, driving around in my transit van. This is just... We need a, a nice realistic map. I bet doing this on somewhere like um, Carmson Court Farms, Ballam Road, Chipping Norton, um, those type of real-world places. So much fun. I need to get one for American Falls when I start making production stuff there as well. I haven't bothered checking the prices. We're just dropping these off at the pizzeria or the restaurant, whichever one I hit first. Fed up with selling stuff at Shire Crane <laughs> or at one of the uh, the random buy all sell all spot. I mean, we sell them at the uh, the market there. Now, where on the pizzeria? Is this the pizzeria or the restaurant? When we find it, it'll it'll pop up so let's drive around and look around the back Whoa, watch my view watch my view let's get around here come on look around the back nope around the side maybe where am I dropping off apparently not there at all Unless it's where the parked cars and stuff are. Right. Pizzeria. Got to be dropped off down the side, surely. There we go. Have some eggs. Beautiful. 22,000 for that. I think... There's me thinking again. I think... This reverts the pallets back to small pallets so whereas I had the five times capacity this now reverts them back to small and that's why it's not registering the big ones there we go I think I've figured it out yeah because I thought I'd come and test it uh, none of these pallets will fit in there so these are all pre-mod so that's why they don't go in figured it out now, since February 2, it's pretty much going to be spent doing nothing but spreading manure across all the fields, or as many of the fields on this map as I can. I'm going to save you guys the time and the boredom, because although I've tried to keep this short, I bet this is well over an hour. Um, but know that I'm sitting at five hours now. Five hours of recording, and we've still got pretty much most of today to do. But I'm going to start spreading manure and I'll just keep going until my brain hurts. But hopefully, whatever I manage to turn this into, hopefully you enjoy it. 
If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. We are doing, I say we, I am doing everything I can to progress this series now. Push it on. We might get more episodes where we get double months, not single months. And I will try and cram them in as tight as possible. Just so we can try and get to do something else somewhere else and succeed here. This has been a slog. I've still got to get them bales in as well. But yeah, you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye bye.